Ladies and gentle dudes, today's a, a news heavy day for me. I'm, you know. So now now we're going to go over liberals crying on bostonglobe.com. Now. This is Perspective magazine by Dr. Dr. William G. Kalin, K-A-E-L-I-N, Jr., updated July 21st, 2020 at 2.08 p.m. The political battle over masks is making us lose the war on COVID-19. So there's a Democrat admitting that fascism is losing. Hmm. Wearing masks is both patriotic and compassionate. It's not a sign of weakness or disloyalty. You are so full of shit. But hey, we're here to laugh at how stupid these people are. The first thing I saw was underestimate me. That'll be fun. Ouch. Where can you see it? Underestimate me. That'll be fun. (laughs) Oh, these liberals just don't know. Okay, first of all, wearing a mask is not patriotic. And there's nothing compassionate about it. You are hurting yourself. Okay. As a young boy in the 1960s, I was taught that scientists and engineers were heroes. And no wonder. We were in the midst of the space race between the United States and Russia. I grew up believing that American science would ultimately prevail against any threat. Whether it was to eradicate diseases such as polio, for which I was an early vaccine recipient. Oh, his brain is on fire now. Or to defend us against aggressor nations like Iran. Hmm. The aggressor nation that Obama did not defend us against. He instead kowtowed and gave them all of our money. And made America poor. Fucking retard Obama. Makes me so mad. Just like these retarded masks. I live for liberal tears. Anyway, this celebration of science in the United States coincided with robust bipartisan support for federally funded research, and American science flourished. Sadly, in recent decades, science has come under increasing assault, often to serve vested Trump financial interests. That was cringe, wasn't it? (laughs) This whole article is going to be cringe. Ooh, Boston Globe debate scorecard for Biden-Trump. I'm going to take care of that later. Um, In the middle of a global pandemic, this is like glorified porn here. Ella Babe. Ella Babe has some advertisements on here that's like glorified porn. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at that shit right there. Glorified porn. (laughs) Isn't this supposed to be a family-friendly website? What the hell is that? She looks like a stripper. (laughs) In the middle of a global pandemic, scientific and medical facts have been distorted and politicized. Our response to COVID-19, including compliance with social distancing and wearing face masks, is being undermined. Because of a distrust of science, carefully sown by people who think policy should be based on economic expediency rather than the greater good. Who was it that was talking about the greater good? Oh, yeah. All my Potterheads out there know about Gellert Grindelwald, right? Yes, we're doing this for the greater good. Alert. Yeah, we need to wipe out the muggles for the greater good. They are recognizable. There are recognizable playbooks for creating such distrust. Journalists, for instance, are taught to present both sides huh. of an argument until they, but they sometimes, sometimes fail to convey how widely held the two opposing views are. This is especially important for scientific debates. Ooh, what about the Trump-Biden debate? Yeah, since 
it is always possible to find a contrarian. Contrarians challenge scientific assumptions. Assumptions! And force scientists to gather even more experimental evidence to support their conclusions. But politics, but policies based on their views will, more often than not, be wrong. Bingo! Did you hear that retail data? See, policies are only wrong when they're pro-liberty and anti-mask. But we're going to see about this. See, I told the folks at Retail Data that I don't tolerate disrespect. And they decided to test me. It's on. Uh, I want to read that one more time. Contrarians challenge scientific assumptions and force scientists to gather even more experimental evidence to support their conclusions. Yes, this is the scientific method. But policies based on their views will more often than not be wrong. So he's saying that con while, while contrarians challenge scientists, the scientist is more often than not right. The contrarian is like the conspiracy theorist. We all know that's a, that's a slanderous term for people who think for themselves. Well, let's move on. Opinion pieces on right-wing media outlets such as Fox News will often present a reputable scientific report as a straw man, followed by a contrarian point of view. That's right, because only the left has science. Uh, but you leftists can't meme. Huh! <sighs> Uh, followed by a contrarian point of view, sometimes from a person with marginal credentials. Oh, please. With headlines such as, Report on COVID-19 face mask, divide scientists, or should you wear a face mask? Experts disagree. In fact, virtually all experts now agree that we need, that we, that we need masks. Yeah, experts agree. I know experts that agree that the guy who wrote this article needs a mask. Sometimes these sites will try to sow confusion when scientific advice changes because of new circumstances or new knowledge. There is nothing new under the sun, man. Nothing. Lies are lies. Truth is truth. Get over yourself. The mask is a lie. Now, if you want to wear the mask, I don't care. But I'm not wearing a mask. And you try to force me to it, you're going to have problems. I'm gonna have problems. <clears throat> uh, or new knowledge. Science corrects itself over time, including when necessary, by retracting published work. Like this article should be retracted. Unfortunately, retractions are also frequently used to stoke distrust in science. Uh, he means in masks. Masks are not science. At the beginning of it, they, they, they're a science if you're a criminal and you're looking to get away with like robbing somebody or just, just generally getting away with crime without saving your face scene. Okay. Uh, at the beginning of the pandemic, scamdemic, plandemic, democratdemic, early recommendations from the medical community and the federal government that advised people against wearing face masks in public were influenced by a need to preserve masks for medical workers. That guidance was also influenced by the fact that COVID-19's high transmission rate, especially among asymptomatic people, was not yet appreciated. Now we know that masks can help reduce the spread of the disease, and the recommendations have since changed to support widespread usage. Blah, blah, blah. Recommendations being key word here. Okay? C hurry up. And cherry Critics also cherry-pick data or take sentences out of, the context, uh, out of context to skew scientific arguments. For example, a New England Journal of Medicine article published on April 1st, but written in March, said, wearing a mask outside healthcare facilities, said, said quote unquote, wearing a mask outside health facilities offers little if any protection from infection, close quote. That contentious sentence, oh, he's so triggered. I love it when these people get triggered, man. It makes, it, it brings me joy. It brings me joy. Uh, that close quote, that contentious sentence referred to passing encounters in public spaces and was written in the pandemic's earliest days when masks were becoming scarce and the true transmissibility of the virus was still being assessed. Yeah, and the goalpost was still being moved. 
This one sentence still circulates on social media to support abandoning masks in public, but a careful reading of the entire article together with a clarification of the, from the authors published in the Medical July, a Journal in July supports that we should all be wearing masks, especially when social distancing is challenging. And on July 14th, a study published in the medical journal JAMA, J-A-M-A, showed the infection rate among employees at Mass General Birmingham, uh, Birmingham Hospitals dropped significantly when all workers were required to wear masks. Yeah, he's talking about the vaccine. Okay. Oh, he is talking about vaccines. Ah. We must depoliticize the wearing of masks, which, no, we must not, which helps because it is political by nature, just like this thing. <clears throat> Uh, which helps protect our fellow Americans, particularly the elderly and the immunocompromised. I tell you what, the immunocompromised are immunocompromised because they're wearing masks. Okay? Wearing masks is both patriotic and compassionate. It is no sign of weakness or disloyalty. This is far from the first time that scientists that science has been attacked for political reasons or financial gain. I love how they like to substitute mask for science. Okay? It's showing your ignorance. <laughs> has been attacked for political reasons or financial gain. As a child, I had promotional materials for cigarettes on my bedroom wall, including for the brand that would eventually kill my mother. Years later, a can- as a cancer physician, space scientist, I would come to appreciate the magnitude of the tobacco industry's deception about the risk of smoking. Hmm. Attacks on science, attacks on vaping, attacks on freedom, attacks on liberty, attacks on the rule of law versus the rule of policy, private policy. Uh, (laughs) uh, Attacks on science have increased uh, even more in recent years often orchestrated by self-interested parties seeking to derail government regulations. No, they're not... They're Well, they are government regulations, but they are Democrat regulations. Regulations, not law. You COVID idiots need to get that fact through your thick skulls. Allow it to penetrate your face diaper. And, um, because, no, y'all not going to win. Y'all lose. Y'all love losing. You will continue to lose as long as you push the COVID-19 narrative. Uh, and all the click words you use, they don't mean anything. Okay. I see all the click words you use. Everybody sees all the click words you use. Equating masks with science. Get the F out of my face. Okay. Uh, by self-interested parties seeking to derail government regulations aimed at protecting our health and the environment. Let me give you a new government regulation. Take off the mask. Okay? This is a government regulation. The most conspicuous example is the attack on climate scientists who have warned us for decades about the risk of greenhouse gases. You mean the greenhouse gases from those fires that they were setting? Right? In California, where they're setting fires... Right, where they're leaving the undergrowth um, to just get dry and just turning the whole forest into tinder. All right, the dead trees, the um, the people running around starting fires. Climate change. Okay, whatever, loser. Whatever, Democrat. Okay. Uh, who have wondered for decades about the risk of greenhouse gases. Yes, we all need to stop farting. We all need to stop breathing. Uh, In in order to stop the greenhouse gases, we need to all wear masks so that we can inhale all of that CO2 instead of giving it to the forest and the plants like God intended. See, these people don't care about God. They care about what they call science, which is left-wing garbage. Okay? It's emotional bullshit designed to browbeat people who can be browbeaten into submission, into admitting that for once the Democrats were right. 
You will never be right, Democrats. As long as you continue to push this narrative, you will never be right. So if you want to be right, I suggest you drop this narrative. Forget about it. Okay? You're never going to convince anyone. And all that you do, the only thing you achieve by continuing to push this narrative is to solidify our conviction that Democrats are useless and do not deserve power and must be disbanded. Okay? Although they are playing out, of, uh, playing out on vastly different timetables, both climate change and COVID-19 are global threats requiring science-driven global responses. That word global. Okay? That word global. Tech ISM after it. Okay? Globalism-driven, uh, s- pseudoscience-driven globalist responses. IST. A growing body of evidence suggests people's attitudes and and actions about COVID-19 are profoundly influenced by where they get their news. Fox News has become the primary lens through which many people see and understand the world. Let me correct you. Um, What's your name again? What's your sorry-ass name again? Dr. Fake Dr. William J. Kylan Jr.? Allow me to increase your intelligence. Okay. Your growing body of evidence which suggests people's attitudes and actions about COVID-19 are profoundly influenced by where they get their news. It depends on how stupid you are. Okay? When I was a child, seeing things on the internet and repeating it as fact was considered ridiculable offense. You would be laughed to shame until you ran home crying. Okay? I tried it. I tried repeating something off the internet as if it was fact. And I was laughed off the street. Okay? So it's not that I don't know what shame is. I know what shame is. I know what contrition is. I know what it means to open your mouth and spew garbage from the internet. Most of the internet is trash. Okay? We learned this at the Vry, okay? Most of the information on the internet is garbage. Most of it is fake news. Now, uh, so where we get our news depends on how closely we keep our ear to the ground, how closely we pay attention to the things that go around us, how vulnerable and emotionally immature we are, okay? That's what determines where you get your news from, I think. Now, uh, if you are one to uh, allow yourself to be dictated to and told what you must do, uh, then you read left-wing news. You have a weak mind, okay? But those of us who think for ourselves, who explore the facts, take the good, leave the bad, we read right-wing news. Because right-wing news doesn't insult our intelligence and disrespect us and tell us what to think. Okay? We don't need no thought control. Journalists, leave our minds alone. Okay? Ah, here we go. The scumbag admits it. Okay? Uh, Fox News has become the primary lens through which... There's a boom coming. Has become the primary lens through which many people see and understand the world. And a major platform for fostering distrust of science. Outright lies. Can Fox News sue the Boston Globe for slander here? Can Tucker Carlson... What's this guy's name again? Dr. William G. Kylan Jr. K-A-E-L-I-N. Tucker Carlson, I want you to light this guy up with some Patriot missiles. I hope Tucker Carlson sees this video. Anyway, uh, for distrust of science, Fox must harness the power of its megaphone and stick to the facts about the pandemic. Essentially, this, this fake doctor wants to turn Fox into CNN. Right. It should use the best available data to educate, to educate its users regarding COVID-19 treatments and, in time, vaccines. 
I saw an internet meme that said having some states locked down and others not locked down is like having a peeing section in a swimming pool. It's true. We're all in this together. Oh no, you're in this by yourself, buddy. And the current coronavirus cases spike in other parts of the country will eventually harm both our health and the economic recovery. Um, no. Wearing that mask is going to lower your immune system and make you more vulnerable to disease. That way, when you go and get the vaccine, you might die. Okay? When you, what, after a long period of wearing that mask and breathing all that carbon dioxide and lowering your blood oxygen content, and then you go and get the vaccine, it's like they found a way to make vaccines more deadly. It takes a long time for your body to become severely oxygen deficient. But they want to kill us, all of us. Those of you that wear masks, you should be afraid. You should be very afraid of that thing on your face. Because what's coming next is nothing good. Okay? And you are in this by yourself, doctor. Fake doctor. I'm not in this with you. Don't get it twisted. Please don't lump me in with you leftist idiots. Okay? Our fragmented and uneven response to COVID-19 is an unintended consequence of the war on science. We must make decisions based on the best scientific advice available, not on wishful thinking and hunches. It is our best hope for dealing with this crisis. Yes, listen to authority. Yes. William G. Kylan Jr. is a, a 2019 Nobel laureate, is the Sidney Farber Professor of Medicine at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and Brigham and Women's Hospital. Harvard Medical School, and Howard Hughes Medical Institute investigator. Send comments to magazine at globe.com. I'm not going to bother replying to that. Well, no, maybe I will. Because this guy is disgusting. Let's take a look at some of the comments under this. Show 48 comments. Good luck getting Trumpians to listen. I have Trump supporting family and friends. Uh, scabby with us. Uh, and family and friends trying to figure out how to do their shopping while avoiding those leftist anarchist places like Walmart and Target. They scoff at what they see as elitism and think public schools are indoctrination centers for the radical left. And this is elementary schools they rail against. Forget about college. <laughs> they are aggrieved white middle class and blame everyone else for their failure to get ahead. They can't wrap their minds around blaming corporate America. I love them, but I just don't get it. Um, let me educate you, you stupid motherfucker. Um, public schools? Yeah. Um, I've had plenty of horror stories from friends in public schools. And... Um, Plenty of people will tell you public schools are leftist indoctrination centers, okay? And uh, they slander the president because they have extreme TDS. Because he's defunding their liberal education, uh, liberal brainwashing programs. So Alpha Angler says, yeah, that's about it. It's coming, has been blocked. We are our own worst enemy, says Noble. Spug, we have met the enemy and he is us, Pogo. Potlamac. Is it really in the nation's best interest to force Republicans to wear masks? Think of the benefits. JF Mahoney 91. How dare you blame Fox News for people not wearing masks? No one can go in a store or really do anything in masks without a mask if they do not have one they get kicked out. It is personal responsibility whether you wear one or not. It has nothing to do with watching Fox or supporting Trump. I personally believe that CNN lies. If you blame the flare-ups flare -ups on people not wearing masks, you are crazy and uninformed. Governor Baker has done a great job and masks do not uh, have many new cases. User 4479432. If you blame the flare-ups on people not wearing masks, you're crazy uninformed. Written by someone so uninformed, he actually, he has it exactly backwards. See, some of these people have nothing, nothing of any import to say. Adriano, they could make the same exact arguments about wearing clothes, but they don't seem to have a problem following that mandate. They are afraid and are, they are being used. Okay, user 1700434. I don't know anyone who likes having to wear a mask, but it is the right thing to do to protect others and yourself. It is not only a political issue, though that is a big part. It is also younger people who think, the, uh, think that either they are immune or they won't get really sick and nothing about those they may affect who are not as fortunate. Trump, who has done a terrible job at leading this country through the pandemic and where masks are concerned, is the worst offender, can thank himself and his delusional followers. Look at him as reflected in what has happened in Georgia, Florida, Texas, Arizona. Blah, 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 blah. Bullshit. I don't pay, uh, please stop paying, please start paying attention. Maybe if you're only thinking about white people. Ooh, racism in this chat. Uh, the following survey suggests that so few Democrats are anti-mask that, that up north may be correct about their personal experience. However, it also suggests that there may be a tiny number of anti-mask Democrats, or maybe just some tiny, 
just that some tiny number of Democrats are careless when answering surveys. Uh, a Gallup poll. American face mask usage varies greatly among demographics. Okay, good. I don't remember any surveys that address ethnicity versus mask usage, but I'm sure there are some. Oh, he's racist. In any case, I think it puts an approximate ceiling on how many anti-maskers there are. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. I think the question is phrased, unfortunately, because the question isn't whether you're outside, but whether you're inside another building or are close to other people outside. I usually don't have a mask on outside, but it keeps, but I keep one in my pocket and put it on if I'm going to be close to anyone. I won't go in an occupied building without a mask. Pfft, dummy. So, Baval123, okay, four months ago, our president was condemned for attempting to shut our borders between us and China. He was condemned by the democratic media, democrat politicians, and medical and medical experts. His policy was called racist and unwarranted. Mayor Walsh made his famous remark, we are better than that, and encouraged crowds to, of people to visit Chinatown. And we were told masks were not necessary, and America was at low risk for infection. As a result, this information led to decisions which both ignited and spread the disease throughout the country. And now, only a few short months later, masks are absolutely necessary. In a few short months, science went from no mass to all mass. Things do change. But that also means July 21st is not the end of change. In a few months from now, things can change again. Maybe this time we'll be told masks were not necessary after all. And if science considers itself objective and not swayed in by politics and willing to investigate... Ah, oh, this person is smart. And willing to investigate all facets of a pandemic to both understand and find a solution for this virus, then why does science have such huge gaps in its investigation? I like the way this person thinks. Who is this? Baval123. I like the way you think, Baval. Huh. For example, why didn't... See, this guy actually has something good to say. He has some, he has some context. He has some, some thought process going on in his head. He's not just, hey, stupid anti-masker. Blah, blah, blah. For example, why didn't either Dr. Fauci or the medical community address the impact having tens of thousands of people demonstrating in the streets have on the virus? Okay, bad, bad grammar, but okay. Why haven't medical experts addressed data which shows a correlation between concentration of medically non-vetted illegal aliens and COVID-19 hotspots? Boom! Why hasn't the medical community addressed data which suggests the use of an invasive ventilator, feeding tube, and medically induced coma possibly led to a high number of deaths? And if the patient survived medical abnormalities resulting from the use of these machines? User 4479432. Why didn't either Dr. Fauci or the medical community address the impact having tens of thousands of people demonstrating on the streets have on the virus? Once again, they did address it. They stated some concerns about it. Just because you didn't notice what they said. Oh, this guy's BLM. <laughs> Baval. Commentator 001. Baval. As liars for Trump go, you are one of the most prolific. Trump's flaccid, weak, and ineffective restriction on travel from China was neither as effective nor as controversial as he and his defenders like to make out that it was. More than 40,000 persons... Oh, this guy's from China. I bet. He's a commentator 001. He doesn't want to put his name out there because he doesn't want to be known for the dumbass that he is. But he still is a dumbass. Okay? Like, uh, more than 40,000 persons came in from China subsequent to the restrictions, and they were not subject to screening. There were no restrictions on travel from Europe, and that's how the virus got here. Uh, there's a link to an article from AP News. Granted, in the earliest days of the battle against the pandemic, there was some confusion about face masks as epidemiologists and other medical experts were gaining understanding about how the virus was trying. They knew all along. Fauci knew back in 20. Freaking 16, whatever it was, 2012, was it? Fauci always knew about this virus. This was planned. Planned, okay? <laughs> but there's a bunch more uh, responses to this. It's going to make this video way too long. I'm going... Uh, but this this thread is good for, for helping build my case. Anyway... It's about to be a 30-minute video. I'm going to call it done for now. Maybe I'll upload later again today. But for now, Patriots, where we go on, we go all. Help me out with this lawsuit.